Matthew, here we are, back again. Still quite close to the Roman town car park here at Caster St Edmund. And a beautiful bit of scenery, uh, sort of nestled in amongst the trees. Right in front of me is the parish church of Caster St Edmund. It's a lovely sight and the A140 way away in the background there. And this is one of the larger hedges at High Ash Farm. This one's 400 metres long, so a quarter of a mile long. And it is absolutely spectacular. It's not been cut for three years. And so this year, because of the dry, hot summer, the berry crop, and it was dry right early on in the year, um, has produced an enormous crop of hawthorn uh, hips from the dog rose as well and blackthorn as well producing sloes and that's way away in, behind me in the distance and we'll visit those in a few minutes time but just concentrate for a few minutes on the hawthorn here and the colour I'm just going got again the little camera in my hand just going to go up close to some of the berries here and there must be between two and three tons of berries on this length of hedge and that's going to be feeding our thrushes our resident blackbirds and song thrushes they'll eat them as well and quite soon uh, in fact already some red wing and field fairs have arrived in the united kingdom and they'll be joined over the next few weeks by thousands of others deserting scandinavia where it gets very very cold and the berry crop's already been eaten and if we're lucky uh, out in the beech woods here at higher sham we'll have some brambling arrive as well but this is absolutely a stunning sight to see all these berries here and it's quite clever hawthorn has the leaves the same deciduous leaves as the trees we were looking at earlier and the leaves will turn that scarlet red and yellow and drop off and that just leaves the berries exposed completely and that's the attraction for the birds and this one is called common hawthorn and if I get one of the berries and squish it between my fingers there is one very large seed in there and if it was midland hawthorn another species of common hawthorn out in the Norfolk countryside you'd have two berries in there two little seeds I should say and those are extremely hard so the deal is uh, uh, the birds eat the little berries here and those hard seeds pass through the alimentary canal without dropping off. Um, so, so as long as the bird eats them on the shrub, they, they will eat and then they'll roost in a tree nearby or another shrubbery nearby and those little seeds will then germinate on the ground. And that's the deal. So the birds are having food. And if I just look in here as well, just put the camera in close. There we are. We've got some hips in there as well, which is the fruit of the dog rose. There we are and I can see Rat boiling up behind me. He's sitting very, very patiently by the truck, just waiting for us to go and do some more scouting round on the Norfolk countryside. And he's seen a little dog that's just walking up here and uh, it's on a lead, as it should be, and uh, we hope there's not going to be a little fight. So I'll see you again in a few minutes where we're going to visit some of the slows. And this is one of the fantastic walks at Hyash Farm, right opposite the Roman Town car park. It's, what, 15 metres wide, so you can have a whole group of you walking round. And here's Rat, my faithful terrier, just waiting and waiting and waiting. Come on, Rat, you ready for some more action? Are you a good boy? Oh, you come on, in the car. Here he goes. Good lad. He, he has to have the final word. Would you believe it? <laughs> 